and here we are back on the channel with another video we're gonna ride the Rad Rover today haven't ridden that too much lately and got to get our ex Nito e-bike helmet on here beautiful day here today we're just approaching the end we're just about at the end of January here we've got beautiful sunshine temperatures into the 40s little bit of a breeze going on but that's okay and let's hop on and go for a ride and I'll tell you what we're talking about today I actually have a deal to talk about so let's hop on got no mirrors on this bike but uh, I like to get the uh, pedal assist on the rad to three that's my favorite uh, to be so I want to talk about a great deal going on right now out there that I come across if you're interested in a fat tire folding e-bike I have a deal that will get you $600 off so I'll tell you uh, which bike it is in just a moment but first of all it's $600 off and its regular price is $1699 it's currently going for $10.99 and the bike is called Espin E-S-P-I-N Nesta N-E-S-T-A it's a folding bike 20 inch fat tire they call it compact folding bike and $600 off that's that's about as much as I've seen off of a bike in a while anyway and uh, I'm going to go over some of the specs uh, on the bike. This is from memory. So uh, first of all, the, the motor is a geared hub motor that is 750 watts peaking at 1,000, 48 volts. The uh, battery is a 48 volt, 10.4 amp. So, can get it around that corner. So, uh, not too bad. They're claiming the uh, estimated uh, mileage is 20 to 40. I'm sure that's going to depend on how much you throttle and how much you pedal. The 40 would be the lowest pedal assist, I'm sure. 20, uh, 20 would probably be throttle only, but I'm not so sure you could get 20 miles on a 10 amp hour battery. Uh, but that's what that's what's uh, listed anyway. So I don't know what kind of tires they are, but they're 20 by four. The brakes are hydraulic disc brakes. It comes in one color only and that's blue. It's a step through. It's got 85 Newton meters of torque, which is not bad. And I'm just trying to think what else uh, I can remember remember what else for the full uh, specs on the bike I am going to put a link in the description so if you want to read uh, more on the bike or purchase a bike or whichever uh, you can go to that link directly from the description I will uh, make sure I get that up in there and uh, 
see if something else can come to mind that I saw on it. Those are the general things that I usually look for anyway, is the motor, the battery, if they're fat tire, the weight, I believe the weight of the bike, now I remember this, I believe it said 65 pounds. I don't know what the capacity weight is on the bike. But folding bikes, I've never had one myself, but I, I can see some pretty good advantages to having a folding bike. Like, uh, for example, like if you want to toss it in your trunk, you know, and take it with you in your car. Maybe you don't have a big car, you know, but you'll probably be able to get that in there. Um, As I hit a bump and realized that uh, this is not the Grizzly, there's no full suspension. But every time I ride this bike, it, it kind of makes you smile. It's a really nice described rover. Smooth as can be. Very smooth bike. But that, uh, that folding bike, Espen Nesta, I've heard of them. I don't know a lot about them, but you can't go wrong with the price and I guess if you want to do a comparable the comparable bike is going to be uh, I think it would be probably for price and all would be the electric 3.0 or the XP 3.0 I think that would be the comparable But if you're looking for a fat tire e-bike, and especially if you're looking for a folding one, you know, that's an even more bonus. But even if it's not, you're not looking for a folding one, it doesn't mean because it's a folding bike that you have to fold it, you know. So you might want to uh, take a look at that one. The price is definitely right, $10.99. And like I say, I will leave a link in the comments or in the description. And if you would like to purchase this uh, X Nito bike helmet, I do have a link in uh, the descriptions as well for that. And uh, if you click on the link through my referral there, you'll get a $15 discount. And it also uh, helps me and the channel out as well. So, And I got I to gotta say, this is an awesome helmet. I'm uh, loving this helmet. Oh, one more thing on the bike I just thought of, the, uh, on the uh, Espen uh, Nesta. The speed, it's a class three, they're saying top speed 25 miles an hour. So, not bad. 25 miles per hour is pretty good. So if you're looking for a fat tire bike, like I say, and you don't want to spend a lot, that's a pretty good deal. The Espen Nesta. So if you have any uh, comments you'd like to make on this or any other video, go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below. Also, uh, hey, maybe you've ridden or, or know more about the uh, Espen uh, company. Maybe you could throw in a, a word or two about them if you do know something about them, or maybe you know about that particular bike. That'd be awesome. And uh, let everybody know in the comments. That would be appreciated. So that's going to do it for this video on the channel. Thank you for coming along with me on the ride as we get out on the uh, Rad Rover, which is really cool. I haven't done too much, uh, too much riding on the Rad Rover lately. 
And uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe, hit the subscribe. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video is coming up on the channel, hit that notification bell and you'll get notified. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, take care.